Did you know that there's a brand new AI tool that's 100% free that it can actually answer your emails for you? Or maybe you didn't realize that Google just dropped a brand new model that is by far the best image generation model and it's 100% free. Well, those two things are absolutely nothing because by the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you seven different AI tools that you aren't gonna believe exist, but also that are free. Now, the first tool that I want to show you is going to be runner.hcompany.ai. Why? Because if you come into connections right here, you can connect this into your Google Docs, Google Calendar, Google Drive, Google Sheets, Slack, Gmail, Notion, and Zapier. And then what you can do is automate pretty much anything that you could think of using one of these tools or using all of these different tools. And if you come into Discover right here, you'll actually be able to go through and see a bunch of different things that they can do. For example, you could have this find a shared calendar slot and schedule and sync. You could have this retrieve certain things from the internet and then email them to somebody. Or if you come under productivity, you could see a bunch of other things it could do. If you come into research, you can also see other things it could do. And then finally, if you come into Surfer H, this shows you a bunch of different things that it can do with computer use. And it's literally as easy as you just coming over here, you doing an at telling it exactly what tools you want to reference or exactly what files you want it to reference, and then it actually goes through and does these things. For example, I'm going to say to this, please find 10 homes in Charlotte and see that are modern and worth over $1 million. Please put them in a Google Sheet once you have them with the link to the house. Now, what this is going to do is this is actually going to fire this up and this is going to go ahead and do this and then it's also going to create a Google Sheet that has those things in them. So as we can see here, this actually broke this out into a few different steps. First, we have step number one here. Now we have step number two here. So it went through and actually did the searches. Now it's going through and scraping the web pages. And then when it's finished, it's going to go through, put them in a Google Sheet, and then actually tell me what that sheet is because it has access to my Google Drive and my Google Sheets. And again, we could have had this actually take additional action. For example, then send those different things to an email address like if I wanted to send them to my fiance or something. Then as we could see, it actually created this document right here. And if I refresh this, you will be able to see that there are now a bunch of different links to modern homes in here. And one of the things that I really liked that this did was it included some links from Zillow and others from Redfin. So clearly it did two different searches in order to find these. Now, tool number two is going to be Image N4, which is Google's latest image model. And there are actually two different ways that you're going to be able to access this. You can access this straight from Gemini, or you could use Whisk over here. So I'm going to show you how to actually do both of these things. If we just come over to Gemini, what you're going to say is, please create me a photo of the San Francisco skyline, but make everything really crazy colors. Now, a few things that you're going to notice about this. One, this tool is way faster than ChatGPT. It's way faster than Grok. And it quite frankly creates way better images than those other tools. In addition to that, this adds text to images way better than any other tool. And it edits text on images way better than any tool. So while this is actually wrapping up right here, I also wanted to show you this right here because this is a different way for you to actually be able to create things. Essentially what this does is this is called Whisk and this combines Image N4, which is their image model, with VO2 in order to animate images. So if you actually enter the tool right here, you could describe something that you want to create or you could roll the dice right here and you could come over here and change different settings. If you put best quality this is going to use image n4 if you put just quality it's going to use image n3 i always use image n4 because i think that it looks the best we could click this right here and look at how quickly this actually goes through and creates images using image n4 and then from there we could go through and we can animate them we could edit them or we do anything else that you want now while this is actually creating this we're going to come back over here we're going to see that this actually created the san francisco skyline right here again it also made everything in neon pink, electric blue, and vibrant purple the same exact way that we actually asked for it to look. Now we could click into this, we could download it, or 
we could edit it if we want to. And if we come back over to Whisk right here, look at this image that this created. This created an underwater coral reef with schools of fish swimming and a bunch of other things. And this is absolutely incredible. And again, you can actually go through and discover on here what other people have actually already created over here. So if we actually come back into here, we can now scan through a bunch of other things that other people have created. And guess what? If we click into one of these, for example, this one with this dog right here and click make your own, this is actually going to bring up the prompt that they used if we click into this. And you'll be able to see how in-depth of prompts some people are actually using on here. But again, these are just the first two tools. I still have a ton more for you to go through and they're only going to get more and more mind blowing. And that's exactly why I partnered with HubSpot to bring you a free curated guide that cuts through the noise. It gives you 40 plus AI tools to help you find the best free and paid options for every single use case. Whether you're trying to stay ahead of your competitors or you're trying to automate some of your workflows, this guide is going to be incredibly valuable for you. And you can access it right now for free at the pinned comment below. It's going to reveal to you exactly when you should stay on the free plan of a certain tools, when you should upgrade, and how you can combine both free and paid tools for maximum impact. Inside it, you're gonna get a breakdown of the top AI tools by category and use case, when you should be opting in for free tools and when you should be paying for them, and my personal favorite collection, which gives you a clear step-by-step -step of what it's worth doing for free and when you really need to be paying for tools so that you're not wasting both your time or your money. Now, whether you're looking to automate your workflow, scale your productivity, or just stay ahead of your competitors, I'd strongly suggest that you go to the pin comment below, check it out right now for free. Now, tool number three is something that's actually pretty different from most tools that I recommend on this page right here, but I was looking for something like this, and this is actually incredibly helpful. What this is right here is a bunch of different free tools for PDF, image, and document management. For example, if you need to compress a PDF, you could do it here. If you need to change from a PDF to an image, you could do it here. An image to a PDF, you could do it here. If you want to be able to get a color code from an image, you could do it here. You want to create a password for some type of document, you could do it here. In fact, they have tons and tons of different things. They literally have dozens of different tools that you could use for PDFs, for images, for editing, for beautifier and minifier, for calculator tools, and for productivity tools. So if you ever get stuck needed to convert one file into another or something along the lines of that, I would strongly suggest that you check this out. It's going to be superfile.ai and again, this is all free. Now, tool number four is another one of those tools that is incredibly useful, especially if you do anything with video content. And again, this is 100% free and you don't even have to log in in order to use this. So if you come to riverside.fm slash transcription, you're gonna be able to upload videos to this and this will transcribe audio and video to text with 99% accuracy in more than 100 different languages and it's free of charge. You literally just click on transcribe now you click on this right here in order to actually upload a file and we can upload one of the files that I just recorded. You choose the language that it's in. You choose what you're actually transcribing. So I'm going to click on video content. You confirm that you're a human. You click start transcribing and this will go ahead and do it and look at how quickly this actually does this. This is a huge time saver. In fact, I used to spend hours having to do this in the past, but now it goes through it transcribes things and I literally have it in less than 60 seconds. And again, it is almost 99% error free. Okay, so now that this is actually done, we could download this right here, we could transcribe another file, or we could copy this to clipboard. And as you could see, this transcribed this every 30 seconds at a time. And it literally took less than 60 seconds to transcribe almost a three minute video. And again, I didn't have to log in and 100% for free, which makes this tool incredibly powerful. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you is going to be diabrowser.com. This allows you to actually have a new browser experience and they actually just opened up the beta for this. I wasn't planning on putting this in this video right here, but this tool right here 
is pretty incredible. In fact, this is the future for how browsing is going to actually happen and be in the future. And I would strongly suggest that you actually check out the waitlist for this. Now, if you don't get into the beta for this, another tool that I would strongly suggest you check out, which again, you're gonna be able to use for free, is going to be Retriever AI. This allows you to retrieve the web with AI. You can extract data from any website, you can build out complex workflows, you can automate repetitive tasks, and it doesn't require any coding. In fact, this is a free Chrome extension. So if we come over here, you'll see what this actually looks like. You can select or start a DOM recording so you can actually do an action and it will be able to repeat that action perfectly. You could come over here to select or manage tools for the AI to actually use. For example, you can see that you can have it create documents, slides, create web pages, extract things to sheets. You could have it fill out PDFs. You you could have it act on a tab, crawl a website, you could have it message people on Slack, or you can add in other MCP tools here. In addition to that, you could have it repeat previous tasks, and then you'll be able to see all the previous things that you've had it do. For example, I've had it scrape websites, I've had it summarize posts on X, I've even had it fill out different forms on the IRS website, which is pretty incredible that it was actually able to go through and fill out those PDFs when I gave it the information that it needed. Obviously, I did that with dummy information. I didn't give this thing my social security number and things like that. And then also in here, you can manage and schedule out specific tasks. So if you need to scroll websites or you need to have a complex workflow happen or you just wanna automate a repetitive task, you could do that by scheduling things out. And again, this is a free Chrome extension. Well, at least it's free to get started with. Now, the next tool that I wanted to highlight is going to be aistudio.google.com because they have released so many different new features that I haven't gotten to talk about yet. First and foremost, if we come into their models over here, you're going to see they just released new models. Gemini 2.5 Pro got a massive update. Gemini 2.5 Flash also got a massive update and they released Gemini 2.5 Flash Lite Preview just two days ago from the day that I'm recording this video, and it is a massive upgrade in terms of speed. In addition to that, if we come over into chat right here, you'll see that they now have the URL context tool. This allows you to fetch information from website links when you're doing a prompt for something. All you have to do to turn that on is just come over here and toggle this on. They also have native speech generation. What does this mean? Text-to-speech. You can now actually do text-to-speech right from within AI Studio, and you could come over here and make it single speech or multi-speech. You could actually change the model settings, so how creative it's going to be, and you could change the voices of all of the different speakers here. Now, if we come back over here, they also have native image generation in here, and they have live audio to audio dialogue. So we could click on this right here, and we can actually talk to Gemini. We could do things like just talk, we could use our webcam, or we could share a screen with it. In fact, this is incredibly useful if you're doing any type of technical support thing or trying to figure out how to do something on your computer, this will literally tell you how to do it. And if we come over here, you will be able to change the voice, you'll be able to change the model that it's using, you'll be able to change a bunch of other stuff here, different tools that it has access to, and this right here is a complete game changer. If we continue down over here to generate media, you're gonna notice a few other things. So they have image generation here, we already spoke about that, text-to-speech, already spoke about that. They also have Imagen, which is their latest image model, and you could come over here and actually change things over here. And then if we come back over here, you'll also see that this gives you access to VO, which is going to be their video model and video creation, and Lyra real time, which allows you to interactively create, control, and perform music in the moment. And then one of my favorite things is that they now have this build feature right here. You can actually look at a bunch of different apps in here, but essentially this allows you to create apps that connect to Gemini's API without you actually having to go ahead and do that. For example, I built out an app that is a YouTube video optimizer AI. So if we come over here, you'll see that this actually coded this out. And what you could do is give it your YouTube video URL the title, a description, and you could give it the script right here, and this will actually go through and give you feedback without you doing anything. It's AI actually watching the video and all of that. Why? Because this is actually tapping in to Google's ability 
be able to do this. Now, if you like this video, I'd strongly suggest you check out this one right here that walks you through a brand new AI agent that'll ask anybody to make money with AI. I'll see you over there.